Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA here. Today we are going into a really awesome new feature that has just been released uh, by uh, for Power BI uh, in the August or August updates. Now I've been really big on scenario analysis. I've got a number of videos on, on it. If you wanted to go search through the Enterprise DNA TV channel. It is seriously one of the coolest things that you can do in Power BI and Microsoft have just made it easier which is seriously awesome. In the past you had to do just a little bit of manual work but now they actually have automating that all for you and I can just see the applications for this just going through the roof. It doesn't, it doesn't, it just, it really, it just takes away from some of the manual work that you, the, that I've had to do to set it up or, or showcase to you that um, is required to get this going. But now they just made it super, super easy. So in the modeling ribbon now, we have this what if icon. Uh, and if you click on uh, the new parameter here, what we can do is we can actually create the um, what if scenarios. So, so for instance, we might want to say um, we might want to we want to call one of our scenarios sort of the change in sales demand, for example. And so we can uh, we can choose whole number, decimal number, fixed decimal number, and we can we can actually go I believe minus uh, up to positive, which is which is great. So uh, in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go whole numbers here, uh, and then I'm going to turn them into percentages later. But so you could in theory do um, decimal numbers as well. Uh, but uh, so I'm going to go from minus five uh, percent, think of that, up to twenty percent, and we can go an increment of one or or whatever we like. Uh, let's let's uh, let's just keep it at let's just keep it at one. Just keep it simple, uh, and obviously we can also put in a, a default value here. Um, but if I go OK, check out all of the stuff that it does in behind the scenes. So it creates this slicer uh, first of all, uh, which you can then slide um, move up and down. It also creates this table on the right hand side here. So it's actually physically created a table. So if we go and look into our model here, you'll see that sales demand. Uh, generally in historic videos that I've created I've just had to create this manually so it's just it's so great how they just automated that uh, within this table we can actually look at the, the the table as well so I'm going to jump to the sales demand table and you see here that we've got minus 5 to 20 so again we didn't have to create that table and it, they've utilized this um, obviously a, a DAX formula called generate series so if you think about how you could use this yourself anyway for any table you could just whip it up yourself too um, and then they've also they've also created a measure here, uh, which uh, has taken away all of the um, requirements um, to do that. If has one value logic um, that I've I've showcased in the past. So so seriously awesome how we don't even have to do any of that anymore. And what we can do now is because this is actually already in a measure, we can just integrate it into our calculations. So I'm going to look at total sales by say the month uh, month and year here. And I'm going to drill into a specific time frame, uh, and uh, so let's go to 2017. And if I just draw this out like so, so what I can do now is I can actually create a new measure integrating this measure into it, so to actually see this, uh, see what happens with when we change those scenarios. So if I create another measure, I'm going to call it scenario sales, and I'm just going to go total sales times by one plus this uh, sales demand value, right? I'm going to get rid of that table because I don't want it in there. We don't need it. And then I'm just going to close this off and go OK. And then if I drag this in, you'll see now that uh, we have we have got a value here, but obviously I forgot to do one other thing. What we need to do is this is a whole number, right? So we need to divide this by 100. So instead of turning into a decimal, I'm just going to divide it by 100. If we also wanted to, what we could do is we, we've got full flexibility over this table. We we could we could actually go percent change in here if we really if we really felt we needed to, um, and uh, we could just um, just put the finishing touches on this. So that's how you would actually get it into a percent if you really wanted to. Uh, but if we just made the adjustment in here, like so, which I did in, inside the measure, there's a number of ways you can do it. Now we can. Now we've got the slicer right that we can move up and down like like so, like this. And then also we've got the ability to turn this into a drop down. We've got the ability to turn it into a list. So we have all all of that, um, all of those, all of the things that I've showcased in the past uh, around. Um, 
around what you could um, what you could do what you can do with with scenario analysis what if analysis this has taken away that manual work right and you can still now uh, really quickly whip up that multi-layered analysis so if you haven't um, haven't seen those videos um, check those out uh, through Enterprise DNA TV, there's there's a, there's a couple now um, that showcase how you can you can almost create the sequencing of of what if per, um, what if scenarios, which is is what really creates that true value. You know, you're actually doing some sort of you're doing almost predictive analysis. You're actually uh, trying to see what outcomes will evolve if certain scenarios happen. So. Um, so this is just this is just a, a great um, a great move by Microsoft just to automate some of that stuff and make it easier for for, for everybody to actually um, to actually create it. So here was just I just wanted to showcase um, how awesome this new feature is that's just been released um, and hopefully you can see the applications in your own environment. And don't forget to subscribe. We've got uh, fresh Power BI content every weekday from Enterprise DNA TV. And if you uh, enjoyed the content, please throw a like uh, on the video. Really appreciate it. Look forward to uh, speaking to you at, um, uh, in the next video. Good luck with it.